night when I saw him, you know, <laughs> in a hard state. <laughs> I don't know. I literally just said what was on my mind. I just was like, you're so big. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Tubes Time and my name's Cody. And I'm Jesse. And today we're going to be talking to you about sex. And not just <laughs> sex, but sex as virgins on our wedding night. Awkward. So, mom, dad, grandma, you may just want to uh, skip this one. Before we get into too much detail on the SEX, we're going to go <laughs> ahead and link our love story up there and you can watch that so you get to know us before we get into all these details. Yes, the juicy details. <laughs> you might be asking, why are these crazy Christian people even sharing? about their sex life on the internet. Yes, like I've questioned making this video over and over again, probably still questioning it right like now. Like <laughs> five minutes before we started, she was like, are you sure we should do this? And I said, no, I'm not, but, but let's do it anyway. Yes. We're actually making this video for all you couples out there who are virgins and who are saving yourselves for marriage and have all these questions about what it's going to be like on your wedding night specific questions about sex in general that you're just too afraid to ask yeah it's not like you can raise your hand at church and ask these questions they're hey, kind of Pastor. embarrassing so we're just gonna put our embarrassing story out there to hopefully help you some <laughs> all right so let's just go ahead and set the scene all right so yeah we have an entire day of wedding madness mm -hmm. and 10 30 or so rolls around and it's time for us to leave mm -hmm. sparkler exit open the door for her and we get into our car not a limousine no we're not fancy like that nope. we get into our car <laughs> and off we go 30 minute drive <laughs> to our hotel room yeah so the first question you may be asking is you guys are finally alone for the first time all day as husband and wife what was that drive like awkward for sure there was definitely some awkward silence and just what were you thinking about she was thinking about seeing me with <laughs> I don't know what I, I was probably trying to think about anything but that because <laughs> it was either gonna burst into tears burst into laughs <laughs> so it's just dead silence <laughs> it really kind of was I was quiet as well obviously as a man I was really excited there was some physically. hand holding I did touch her above her knee <laughs> for extended periods of time but I was, I was a little nervous to go much farther than that because I, I kind of feel like I knew what was going on in her head and I didn't want to make her any more nervous than she already was before we even got to yeah. the hotel. Cody knew this, like going into this, marrying me, somehow he still wanted to marry me. But I was very vocal about being a Christian girl that was saving herself for marriage. And I would tell anybody that I was terrified of sex. And he still married me. So this is probably what he's thinking in the car. It was one of oh, those gosh. things I was like, you know, it's, once she sees me <laughs> naked, you know, all that'll just pass. Let's, let's move on. So we get to the hotel. I'll take it from here. It was just like your favorite romance movie. I grabbed her, ripped off her wedding dress, <laughs> threw her onto the bed, uh, pulled the cover uh -huh. over us, and then we just started going at it. No. That is what the movies would have you think happened. That was not our movie. <laughs> no, our movie didn't. Our movie started off different. Our movie yeah. started off with a shower after a long sweaty wedding day. Yeah, so Cody took his shower first. It was like the fastest shower, guys, I've ever taken in my life. So obviously it's her turn. She's supposed to jump in and just fly right back on out so we can get at it, right? Yeah, no. So I was, you know, nervous, so I took I had a 10 minute shower and then I blow dried my hair. And you know, who, who knows how long it took me to get into that lingerie because I've never worn anything like that before. It was a little different. It was worth it. <laughs> so so I, what she doesn't know <laughs> is that, or what she didn't know was, I had like all these plans to calm her down. <laughs> so I had this super awesome playlist of romantic piano music that I had playing on my iPhone. He did. I had the lights dimmed all down, had some candles lit, rose petals leading to the bed. 
petals <laughs> all over the bed. In his head, it was like going to be the most romantic thing for me in the world. It was, you know. <laughs> he had all the massage stuff. I had, mm -hmm. I had everything ready for like the perfect sensual massage. Mm -hmm. And she was going to just love it. And, and I had no her idea. Down, mm -hmm. And then we were just going to have the most romantic night ever. Yeah, so I'm thinking in my head, after I get this lingerie on, I'm about to walk out of here, I'm like, okay, it's going to be really dark, so don't worry too much. He's not going to be able to see everything. Um, and, you know, it'll be fast because you're virgins. It'll be fast. That's what I'm thinking. No. So I walk out, and he is ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> to give me this romantic night. <laughs> Without going into too many details on the massage. It was awkward. It didn't last very long. Mm -hmm. She eventually, in the sweetest way possible, turned over and said, dude, this isn't doing it for me. The massage was a, a bust and a flop. Mm -hmm. We threw all that stuff off the bed, got under the covers, and just started kissing and moved on to what you've all been waiting for, the sex. And unfortunately, there wasn't any sex. <laughs> Not that night. <laughs> Not that night. Not that night. But there were other things that we were able to do that we had never done before since we hadn't experimented at all. Before. Again, because of, if you've read the title, this is a, a wedding night story for people who are virgins. Yes. <laughs> and we have, I've never seen her naked, whether it's real life or a picture, nothing. I've never touched her breast. I've never slapped her butt. I barely have ever even touched her above her thigh. We've never even made out up to this point. Yeah, we had never French kissed. Once again, you should watch our love story. Yeah, if you're love more story interested. will get in the details of why we decided not to do that. There's lots of experimenting that we were able to do without <laughs> actually having sex. I Which mean, is the fun. first thing we did was make out, and that was like the coolest thing ever. Yeah. I've never made out with her before. You may be wondering, well, why were you not able to have sex? Was it because you tried and it was too painful? There may be people that are honestly worried about does it hurt well i will go on to say that obviously we learned how to have sex we figured yeah. it out we figured it out a little this bit this is baby number two baby so number two. <laughs> we did figure it out eventually but that night she was so tense access was denied yeah we're can just, we just say that, it like that yeah that's enough detail access was yeah. denied so eventually it was kind of like uh, Let's just we, do we just need to do some yeah. other things and we fooled around and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, but once we actually were able to have sex, I do want to let people know it it's not painful. Once yeah, people yeah. always make it seem like you're gonna hurt her. I was like, don't get me wrong, I'm a man, I was ready to do this, but I was worried because I love this woman. I mean, this was my best friend and all you ever hear growing up is that Oh my God, the first time so painful. She's not going to be able to walk. She's going to hurt so bad. I mean, what do you think? Is that the experience you had? No, I feel like once you're able to do other things and really loosen up, then it's not painful at all. It's just you shouldn't put that kind of pressure on yourself on one particular night, especially when there's just so much new happening. And not just that, it was also extremely late. By the time we actually went to sleep that night, it was past three o'clock in the morning. And, and we had a whole honeymoon to get to enjoy each other. And believe me, it did happen. I would like to say that after that, we woke up, we had about a five hour drive to go to an all-inclusive resort. And so we got up and one thing that was really strange was that taking a shower together for the first time was yeah. not, it wasn't awkward at all. Yeah, you may be thinking like, you didn't even want the lights dimmed that night before. What do you mean you got in the shower with this yeah. guy? It was a really cool thing. It was like, this is what God intended. I've made a commitment to this person. So I actually didn't find him seeing me naked like that awkward at all. It was, it was honestly just felt like completely natural it wasn't sexual mm -hmm. or anything you know i mean don't get me wrong i finally got to see it. my wife in full view <laughs> we still talk about that to this day we thought that would be the most awkward thing ever but mm -hmm. it just wasn't yeah we honestly had a great one night it was it was definitely different and i mean maybe if you'd been super experienced then it you would have had sex but would it have been as memorable i don't know because you'd had sex before another thing that people have asked us all those years of anticipation and killing yourself waiting to make love to the woman that you knew you were going to marry anyway was it worth it yes and we can yes. say that without a doubt there's so many benefits to waiting and one of the major 
things to me is that I didn't have anything to compare it to. So, yeah, so you're basically, you get to learn together, like everything that you experience, you're experiencing together mm -hmm. and you're, you're never comparing those experiences yeah. to past lovers, etc. Like et people will ask you, well, was he, was it good? Is he good? And it's like, he's good to me. <laughs> yeah, like, how do you even answer that? Like, yeah. yeah, she rocks and, my world every time we're in bed. She's great. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we actually have a funny story about that, not comparing um, him to anybody. Else. I had never like looked at porn or seen anything. And so that night when I saw him, you know, <laughs> in a hard state, <laughs> Are you talking about so I don't know. Many. I literally just said what was on my mind. I just was like, you're so big. <laughs> so, I mean, at least I made him feel good. So, this girl knows how to make a guy feel good about himself the very first time he takes his pants off in front of her. I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. And the only reason she's able to say that is she's never seen anything else. Yeah. And we can't compare mm -hmm. to anything else. So That's right. I'll just leave it at that. He'll take the compliment. So like we said, guys, it didn't really take us too long to figure out the whole sex thing. It did eventually happen, and I don't even know if it was a whole day later. <laughs> we mm -hmm. highly recommend A Honeymoon. Those are some of the best memories of my life, and not, not just for the sex. The sex was wonderful, but just that time together, you know, before you have kids or anything, it's just such an awesome week that you can just it's an awesome bonding yeah week. it's an awesome bonding week so highly recommend it even if you can't afford the big nice wedding go on some sort of honeymoon just you two somewhere where you can just spend time alone and together yeah. so you can figure things out it, it is very physical but it is such an emotional bond that god has given us and i feel like you should be able to take it all in and enjoy it especially if you've been waiting that long so there you have it guys that's our story yeah so we should feel like pretty close friends to you guys after sharing those kind of details so if you feel that way then please subscribe to our channel uh, like comment and share this video it really helps us out God, God bless, bless. y'all. <laughs>